Hey y'all, remember my last video? I found all those monarch butterfly eggs. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep them to raise them into healthy, beautiful monarch butterflies. And it all starts with getting a bath. <laughs> That's right. I'm bathing caterpillar eggs. Come and see. And why am I bathing butterfly eggs, you might wonder? Well, there are some tiny spores that can cause a lot of problems and I'm going to make sure that they are destroyed before they have a chance to wreak havoc on my baby caterpillars and butterflies. And I'll talk to you more about that later on in the video. So what I use to bathe my milkweed, or not the milkweed actually, to bathe the eggs, I need some glass containers some water, some bleach, and then a little measuring glass. And um, I make a 5% solution, so 5 milliliters of bleach to 95 milliliters of water. And now I'll add the 95 milliliters of water. And I'll fill the other jar just with plain water for rinsing. And I'm ready to go. So I will just soak the eggs in the bleach solution for a minute and rinse them and they'll be good to go and hopefully they'll be free of OE spores. Okay, you can see the egg on this plant right there and I'm just going to douse the whole thing in the bleach solution for 60 seconds. I have a little timer. And when my time is up, I'm going to immediately rinse and swirl it really well. Give it a good rinse off. there were OE spores on this. Hopefully they have been absolutely destroyed and annihilated by the bleach. And this little caterpillar can grow up and become a monarch butterfly that has little or no spores. Afriocystis electroscara, commonly referred to as OE, is a single-celled protozoa that infects the monarch through ingestion. The baby caterpillar eats the spores that are on the surface of the egg and the leaves of milkweed. And the spores sort of activate once they're inside the baby and feed off of the caterpillar. And the caterpillar can tolerate a few spores, but an overload of them is too much for um, its system. And also as it pupates, the spores then transfer back to the outside of the body of the monarch butterfly. And they're very sticky and they make the butterfly stick to the inside of the chrysalis, which makes it more challenging for the butterfly to emerge. The butterfly has also been weakened from the presence of the Ophryocystis electroscara spores, and therefore isn't strong enough to um, break through. This is only the case in a severe infection. Most of the time, in a normal world where there's plenty of milkweed in the world for monarch butterflies, it's not a huge issue because the protozoan actually needs the butterflies to survive because without the butterflies, then they can't survive. There's a lot of speculation that the overload of OE spores 
and the greater prevalence of it is due to the addition of tropical milkweed in so many gardens. And yes, it does have some effect on it, but the bigger issue is there's not enough milkweed out in the world, and so the monarch butterflies keep visiting the same milkweed over and over again, and that's how the spores get built up. So it's so important that we are adding more and more milkweed in our gardens, in our yards, in our communities and going and using native whenever possible. This year I am using tropical milkweed but I'm growing it all inside and I'm using it exclusively to feed these eggs that I have washed so that it has been completely untouched by anything outside and all fresh and clean and free of spores. The reason I'm choosing to use tropical milkweed is because it grows super fast and it'll keep my caterpillars well fed and that way I can keep my native milkweeds and my balloon milkweed and my giant milkweed growing in my garden and I'm not going to have to keep taking cuttings from it to bring in and feed my caterpillars. So that's my plan. Hopefully it's going to work. Keep watching and you'll see. Oh, and what am I going to do, you know, when I find that caterpillar that I didn't bring in as an egg? Well, I have a plan for them too. And you're just going to have to keep watching to find out what I'm up to. Oh, and if you're interested in learning more about raising monarch butterflies and OE and just the whole process and what I've doing now what I've done in the past I have put all of my best videos in a playlist and I will link it at the end of this video and you can just tap it and enjoy because education is everything when it comes to raising butterflies the more you know the better equipped you're going to be to handle things when any situation comes up so there's one thing I forgot to mention about OE because, you know, I've been doing my own little experiments trying to see are there other ways to destroy it besides bleach. Like I was trying um, UV lights and what else did I try? I think like a, like a Lysol type thing because, you know, it's supposed to kill germs. But I would take it and um, apply the medium and or the light and um, then look at it under the microscope and the spores, you know, still look like the spores. But the bleach let me tell you that stuff annihilates those spores they are just like broken up splat done and i kind of kind of enjoyed that a little bit so i just wanted to share that okay hey y'all just when you thought this video is over no 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 because i just got home from work and i have one little thing to add One of the eggs has hatched. This is on my macro lens. And you can see the sweet little baby. So adorable. And here's another one. And another one. Oh my gosh, three. And I found another egg. Let me grab it real quick. Um, it's about to hatch. And then you can see there's an egg right here. You can see there's a caterpillar too, but there's an egg right there by the stick. And you can see there's a little dot on the end. There's a better shot of it. That is the head of a new baby caterpillar that should be hatching any time now. Is that not adorable? I'm so stinking excited. I just can't even, I can't, I can't even express my joy. And those y'all are my first monarch caterpillars of 2023. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have caterpillars to photograph, to raise. I'm going to go move those babies on to some of my fresh milkweed that I've grown inside and get them off to a super healthy start. What a great way to end this video. I can't even, yay. I'm so glad that they hatched just in time for me to tag them on the end so you could kind of see how the whole process works and they, they do survive the bleach wash. Thank you for watching and if you aren't currently a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. 
take a second, tap the little thumbs up, like button. It makes such a huge difference for my channel and it's just a simple little thing to do. And I'll see you in the next video.